Vape me a guy. The worst it gets, man. Just can't even describe this feeling. It's rock and roll, Johnny. Is there anyone here with me? Are there any spirits here with me? I mean you no harm. Beautiful forest you have here. The best way to describe ghost hunting is ghost hunting is like a sauna. And there's only so long you can stay in somewhere, in a sauna. And it's very like this. Ricardo. Holy crap, man. It's got the biggest chill. I mean, it is sort of cold, but... That's my breath. Oh, man. But I got a chill. More than a chill. If that makes any sense. There's just something telling me not to go much further, like, hey, like there's a real sense of don't go further, but then it's almost like your legs will just keep taking you further. Man, I've got big balls, man, but... Yeah. This is pushing me to my limit. I said the wrong Japanese word. Konnichiwa. <clears throat> Whenever I get nervous, I get this cough. Hello. Are there any spirits here with me? If so, can you make a noise? I mean you no harm. Shut 
shake a tree, crack a branch, make a noise. I'm really missing Grandma's rosemary beads right now. I'll tell you right now, and it hasn't happened to me before at all. Go something anywhere. I, I, I don't feel that good. I don't feel that good at all. Konnichiwa. I really hope I don't lose my light. That would suck here. Can you wear?
Can you sit down for a second? Oh, man. I mean, you know, huh? Make a noise if you don't want me here. Move a branch. Snap a log. I you know, just, when you do this ghost hunting after a while, you start to read your own emotions and that sort of dreaded heavy feeling is sort of gone and I'm a lot more comfortable now. Um, that might sound like a good thing, but it's not. When you go from completely on the edge, 120% adrenaline to, oh yeah, things are pretty cruisy. That's not good. That is when something's trying to relax you to the point of, you'll keep going for the ring and you're not on your guard, if that makes any sense. Because that's what happened in Elizabeth Bathory's castle. Like, my feelings are relaxed now, but I still don't, you know, I don't feel well, like, I just feel a bit dizzy and disorientated, which never happens to me. I can't say I've ever felt dizzy, and I sort of a bit euphoric. But I feel a lot more relaxed now, like, hey, just go for a walk. Everything's cool. I'll tell you what, though, in this forest, everything's not cool. Everything's not cool by a long shot. We're going in hard. It's as simple as that. Because I'll never be back in this forest again, I don't think. And we're going deeper and deeper. Can you walk? As I said, 
sap a branch, move a tree. Make a noise, let me know you're here. I'll tell you what I just caught a smell of. Nothing scary, but a deer. A beautiful deer here. Don't be scared of me. I mean you no harm. I love the smell of deer. Beautiful smell. <laughs> Fuck, I can hear voices. I can hear someone talking. It was a fair way away, but it was back up there. It was a man's voice. still here. Now I can hear footsteps heading down here. I heard a man talking, and then I heard footsteps coming down this way. I mean, it could be the police, you know, I don't know. Keep going. <laughs> Might have been someone way up there in the Walking on that road, I don't know who'd be out there at this time of night. There's a car left on the car park. What the fuck? 
Don't give me this shit. I'm not here. Fuck that. You kidding me? Fuck off. It's just ask me like, are you serious? I'm not here. Shit's back on. What? This was charged up. Are you kidding me? No fucking way. I mean, I've got the whole worst fucking feeling. Fuck. Well, let's come back on. Thank fuck. There's something going on right now. I don't know what it is. How the fuck could I just turn my light off? At least it come back on. It's saying my battery's going flat. Again. Fuck this fucking lean tube. Is it me? Is it my... Oh shit. At least it come back on. Well, right, we'll push a little bit further, but... There's those footsteps again. They weren't that far away this time. They were a lot closer this time. There's only about four of them. I heard him up where that, I could hear that guy's voice talking. And then I just heard him then, but they were like, a heap closer, like just like around in there. At least the little Vimy came back on. Thank God. <sighs> what the fuck? Oh, it's doing it again. Bullshit. Not fucking here. Fuck me. I charged it. Fuck. You're kidding me. Fuck that. I'm getting angry now. Where are we fucking the light? Don't mess around my light, do you? Go on, turn these, turn my torch off. Oh, you walking down here, walk right down here. Don't be shy, come on down. I'm sick of these fucking thing, things, whatever the fuck they are, turning off my fucking light.
Don't mess around with lights. I'm telling you right now. Sick of it. There you go. I've got another one. Huh? What do you think of that? That's so clever now, eh? Don't piss me off. Sick of it. I'm going to ghost hunt your old forest now. That's it. I'm not going to be nice anymore. going on with that loan cube. See, like remember Torn? It went boom, boom, boom and died and wouldn't come back on. This time it went out, come back, worked and out again. And I tested it after Torn. And it went, it went fine for like three hours. There's that voice again, straight up there. Sorry for the swearing, subscribers and mum, but... I'm not going through that again. Not, especially here. So... There you go. Little cube normally just dies slowly. To win, it just turned off and really wouldn't turn back on. Did it's flashing. And this time it went off. Come back on. And then went off. So, how could it have, you know, the battery dies, it slowly fades. How can you have two different things happen to it now? 
Maybe. Come on, you want to talk up there? You want to rock down here? You want to mess around my loon cube? Let's go. I was going to do that tonight and stuff, but... Can I do something to say? Come on, Barry. Right, I've just got a voice up in here. A murmur or something. This seems to be the spot. And see what happened there. It was a perfect example of fight or flight. And it's turning that panic, fear. You can either run away or you can go forward. And that's why there was a fair bit of swearing and aggression, if that makes any sense. That's how you can get yourself out of it sort of a sticky situation goes on but it can also go bad because you can make whatever out there's a bit ang angrier we're last chance turn this light off turn all the lights off go on yeah i didn't think so man i work all over your forest stuff here And just between you and me, if all my lights go out, I think I'll have a heart attack on the spot. I'm going to try something up here. I just saw something up in there. Like something. There's like an eye or something glowing, but the deer are here, so. It's just up in here. Oh, look, it's no deer. Would have been a deer, I reckon. What's right in there? With an eye, the eye like glowing. I'll tell you what you do if you're back there. Let me go lights out. Come up and say hello. That's tough. Oh, I don't like having no light here. This is bullshit. I'm not doing that. I am not doing that. No way. Well, let's keep going. After to warm. No one's messing with my... Kidding me? I sort of heard something running up. I 
after tomorrow. I'm not putting up with that. I mean, I might not have much choice in the matter, but I do apologise for swearing like that. Viewers, if you're offended, That's sort of a very um, high-octane situation. Oh, God. Hopefully we're going to be able to hear See, these are new batteries in both these torches. Oh, after, after too long, I learnt. Carry three of them. Let's go deeper. See that, that sense of fear is gone. Well, it's still there, but it's replaced with anger. It's fight or flight. That's what adrenaline is. If adrenaline gets a hold of you and you go flight, especially in one of the most haunted places in the world, you're gone. You probably won't be able to get out. The panic will set in, you'll freak out. I'm 41, so I'm probably entering heart attack stage. It's not going. I'm going to walk all over your forest. What are you going to do about it? I said to myself I wasn't going to talk, but... Okay. I got that feeling like someone's following me again. You're getting in deep now. Oh, that's There's definitely something back there. It doesn't feel as menacing though as that one at all. That one was bad. So Robert, if you're a ghost hunter and you feel that fear starting to grip you, get angry. Get real angry. And that's one thing too, like you gotta remember these entities and spirits and stuff, especially the bad ones, they feed off fear. I mean look at Aaron off Ghost Adventures. He's always scared. I'm not going in there. I'm not. They always target him. They always target him.
Get you up. Come out and say hello. Move a branch. Throw a rock. The thing about this place too is this. Oh God. I just got the worst feeling, like instant, like picture in front of me right now, just an instant, no go zone. Instant no go zone, like there's an imaginary wall right here. What's going on? Is anyone here with me? Is anyone here? Is there a spirit here? It's like my legs just won't want to move. But they're going to. That's a real negative feeling, man. Why don't you want me here? Is this your forest? Am I in your forest? I guess what I can smell now that you've... I can smell something dead. Man. There is the worst smell coming in now. Like, holy shit. Wow, The worst, there's no wind. The worst smell is coming in right now, and it smells like someone, something's dead. That's just the smell of death. I'm fucked down as much as I was. Give us this day, a day of our own. Give us such a choice. We forgive those who choose to make us well. Let us lose what we do. Deliver us from it. Holy man. That's high alert now, team. Wow. I could smell a deer before, but. That was just absolute. That stunk just like rotten meat. Right here. It just come. It just basically come from there and just wrapped around me. It's gone now. See? You say the Lord's Prayer, it'll protect you. A 
the spark completely gone. I can still that negative feel though. I can still smell a deer somewhere too. Sorry, the uh, the ghost hunt has stalled. Is anyone there? Konnichiwa. Can you speak to me back? Can you move a branch? Make a noise if you're here. I mean, there's a chance that it could be a dead animal, but I'd still be smelling it now. Unless it was like a swirly gust, but it just come in right where that negative light wall was. The smell just hit me right there as well. Don't mind that way. If you don't want me here, make a noise. I'll leave your forest in peace. Man, I cannot wait to listen to the audio of this. I hope it's picking up all these little things I can hear. I only keep walking through your forest. The deeper you go, the worse it gets. It's almost like we've been given two warnings. You know, two warnings like, hey, get out of here. They probably didn't like the way I spoke to them. You see, you got to remember too, like, it's not one or two ghosts in a house. This is a forest full of them. So many people have died in here in a violent, self-hating, world-hating way. And that is the perfect mixture for a negative entity. I mean, you have that normal ghost, like, I'll just cruise up. I'm just curious about you. And then you've got ones that downright just want to destroy you. And then you've got the odd. I don't think I've, ex I haven't ex ex experienced one yet. But I would hate to, and that is a demon. And that is when you get scratched and marked. And guess what? You need to go get help. I mean, after to one, that was it for me and alcohol. And, you know, I used to drink pretty regularly, I have done for a long time, 
after tomorrow. I drank once after that. And wow. There was a side of me that I never want to see again. We're heading down towards the lake. So most, I don't know this track. I've never been down this track before. I saved this sort of area for the moment on. Stupid show of you. Yeah, come on. Come on, let's go a bit quicker, man. I think. I think that carnage back there was over. You know what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm going to send that loom tube back. So whatever the hell makes them. And get them to pull apart and see if something's wrong with it. But I'm not, you know, too much has happened with it for it to be something technical, like to long that wasn't technical. As I said before, after too long I charged it up and left it on, and it was only for three, four hours, and it slowly died. Well, this is the end. It's coming up the lake. Yeah, so ropes can Might be time just to chill out for a while. See what happens. I need some water.
where it's like um, quarter past two in the morning. Hmm. So I don't think we need to talk about the thing. Um, we go back up where there where we had those I had those two experiences. So yeah, but we're in the suicide forest. I don't know why I do this. I can't feel anything at the moment. Not like back up there. That little stretch on up back up there was pretty intense. Is anyone here with me? Move that rope. Sway the rope a bit. See that rope? Sway it. Move the rope. Let me know you're here. Just a little bit. Just move it a little bit. I really didn't want to ask this question, but I'm done. Move that rope if you committed suicide in this forest. Move the rope. Please. See right now, I don't feel anything at all. I don't feel like there's anything around me, or any kind of current, or anything. There must be some kind of spirit that can move that rope. Come on. You can do it. Let me know you're here. Just move it, if you can, please. Konnichiwa. I mean, sorry, Adigo. Oh, I can't remember. Okay. Damn it. I'm going to head back up to where all that crap happened.
It's no deal. Look, I'm so right now, guys. I don't feel anything like I'm not so scared. I don't feel angry. I don't feel anything, to be honest. I just feel like I'm working through a forest. And that's when you're a ghost hunter. That's how quick your emotions are. They're up, down, gone. Tell you what's getting cold though. Oh, it is, I'm wearing shorts. But we've got another... I've got another 4K work back to the hostel. So we'll be able to do a bit of ghost hunting along the way back. But I'm going to go back to these spots where I got the action. Oh, I love the smell of deer. Beautiful. I love the smell of cleans on red deer in the wild, they're amazing. I'm gonna go back up to where uh, I can I could smell it. It was just like rotting meat. Right, see, as soon as I got to here, like this way, I start flying again, like that real chill straight up my spine. And then your emotion starts going like this again. Back to like high up time. And it just gets stronger and stronger. Like, whoa. And it was that tree right there where I that was the tree where I came walking down. And I basically got stopped. And then this is where that really bad smell after that concrete thing. It was a really like roadkill. Like, you know, three day old roadkill. That's exactly what it sort of smelled like. It wasn't a little salt or eggy or anything smell like that. It was just like the smell of death like creeping death. That's the best way I can put it. But I can't smell it now. The, that, that vibe and that bad feeling is gone. It's a little bit here, but I mean, it still feels a lot different here than it did back down the ropes. Like that rope, I didn't feel any. It's still a feeling here, but nowhere near as bad as what it was when I first come down. And, you know, I will say it. That feeling is getting that insane. But I had to pull out the ace card. And <laughs> that's the Lord's Prayer. And, you know, I don't go to church or anything, I believe in God. But... As soon as I said it, it was, I mean, seconds. And that smell just disappeared. And that feeling disappeared. So if you go sometime, that's your Rothman's Creed. Learn it. 
Because in this forest, you're going to need it. Hopefully I haven't been spinning the camera too far. So I've had this focus problem with this little camera and the other ones. Like, I think I might not turn the stabilizer on it or something. I found some stabilizing today after. Because the camera was blowing in the middle of the day when I was moving it too quick. Should be able to handle that. Alright, well we're going to go up. We're going to go up to the right of it. Look at here. Guy's voice talking in those footsteps. Oh, there's some deer around. You know, I was reading on, uh, on the internet that in the suicide forest where I am now, there's, you don't see animals and you don't see birds. I hear birds, but you do. And about, well, it'd be two and a half, three k's that way. I mean, probably about two k's was where I was exploring for the day today. And there was ribbon everywhere. Unbelievable. Like... Oh, you'll see it on the other video anyway. Right now, I don't feel anything. I felt a bit back there where that tree was again, but nowhere near where I... I felt before in that spot, like a real diluted version of it. But now I even, I might even bail out of here and get down to there, sort of, not in where all the ribbon and everything was, but there's a track along there, I might try and ghost hunt that at like around 3am because then I've got to I really want to get some drone footage at sunup of Mount Fuji in the forest even though earlier today I nearly flew my drone into a truck
Hey, anything out there? It's your last chance. I'm heading out. Make a noise. Let me know you're here. So I can say hello. Apologies for swearing. At you. You gotta remember, like, with this forest, oh. your forest is haunted. I mean, there might be some spots maybe a bit worse than others, but the whole forest, this string, tape, you name it, throw it. And right now, I don't feel anything. Nothing. I don't feel scared or anything. Yeah, there's nothing there. And basically, you can... Ah, it's not going to Oh. Basically, this whole forest, you can, I mean, it's massive. You'd need like two or three weeks to explore it properly. And see, right, it's weird, like, it's so weird, like, right, looking down this hill, when I was walking up, it's the first time I've ever felt it. I know a lot of people, right, I've seen Zach off Ghost Adventures do it, and that's where he just starts feeling unwell. And this section along here, I just got like a tinge of it down there, but it's almost like a bit of like that hang over hang over hang over feeling.
now I get to here. Big con trill. So it's that section back there, that tree, and this section. It has that real cold feeling. Right here. Is there anything you want to say before I leave? Make a noise. Just communicate. Don't be scared of me. Is it knocking out? Crush a branch or something. I hope you're saying rest in peace. Fuck this! Are you fucking kidding? Holy fuck! Something's just pulling back. I fuck off! Fuck off! Oh, Johnny, hold, hold, hold. Come on. Fuck yeah. Oh, it's fucking. Oh, yeah. Like, that's never happened to you before. How's this? That has never happened in my My hand. Holy. Oh, my God. All right. I'll just walk around. Back up there, and all I remember is like a f like a fly or a bug or something has gone, zzz, 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 and then something just yanked. Like not too hard where 
I got pulled back by him, but like, just someone softly pulling like a sharp little pull back on my back pad. Like a world, a world, you know, like a teacher would to a kid, like, hey, like, just pulled hey, enough to move my shoulder. Enough for me to, like, you know, feel it. You know, I've never been touched or anything in my life go something awful. Five. Oh, yeah, something about fight or flight. That's flat. And I'm getting the fuck out of here. Right now. Right, slack in the arm. <laughs> We're now right, right? Yeah. Oh. That's never heard of her. And so what? I don't like it. Just five. 